Welcome back to Driver San Francisco. This is Chapter 5, Deep Undercover. Yes, it is. Fact. That's the witty commentary you pay for, people. <laughs> Here it goes. As promised. Indeed. So, uh... Oh, cutscene, right. Oh, right. That just happened. He's everywhere. And more importantly, he can possess people who are just standing on the sidewalk. <laughs> I thought this was my dream. <laughs> I love the explanation someone suggests in the thread that, well, Tanner feels like Jericho is always one step ahead of him. So it would make sense that in his dream, Jericho can do everything he can do only better. Yeah, that's interesting. I like that. Oh, that was a cute little old beetle. Oh, he's paranoid, so he's keeping off the main roads, the lower paranoia. Makes sense. That's a cool, cool vantage point. Yeah. This is sort of a completely pointless cutscene. I know, it's like for a game that has so much dialogue recorded for every little interaction. It's surprising that all their cutscenes have no dialogue whatsoever. Uh huh. Well, the chapter opening cutscenes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Hey, the Bay Bridge, we can go across that now. Very true. I wonder if we'll have to. Yes. Hooray! I can push myself higher. I know I can. Hell, I'm really getting ahead for heights. Just look at that. The whole Bay Area. Check that out. And now you can hear his heart monitor. Also very important. So yeah, they kind of sort of modeled Oakland a bit, maybe. Yeah, I'm just exploring here. This is cool. Yeah. First time experience. That, that's what I did the instant I could. So we've got some of Marin County, sort of. Yeah. Let's check it out. Damn procedure. Police, Wrong car again. Just drive down there and roll over that stuff. Yeah, it's hard to enter a mission from shift level three. Sorry, what? God damn it, Ron! I know there's crates of fake meds right there on the damn street. They got permits. It's fake right? meds. That's and what. We've got a fake meds. To follow. We'd need a warrant, and by the time we got one. The stuff will already be on the streets. Damn procedure! We're police. <laughs> we should just drive down there and roll over that stuff. Yeah, because that's what police friend. do. Man, we just cannot get away from tracking down shipments of illegal drugs. Well, at least we know who's behind Actually, it. You know what? This is that Jericho. I wish. Courtney. I mean it. We're gonna take this car. Oh yeah, that's right. Thousands of dollars worth of counterfeit meds. You serious? <laughs> uh, I love our character's idea of street justice. <laughs> it's awesome. Street justice? Hell, his idea of police justice. <laughs> Smash! There's one. I don't think I've seen you enjoy police work this much for ten years. I don't think I've seen a criminal mastermind leave this many drugs <laughs> exposed in the public. Wow, I was thinking for a second that this was at least not as dumb as their excuse for the last Smash mission, but it is. It's exactly as dumb. What are you... what? I am I got confused. I was following the... it, it put the, uh, the yellow marker oh, of where to yes. go, but I don't... It's not about taking the fast route to that yellow marker. It's about hitting all the boxes on the way. Mm -hmm. Kind of confusing, but that's okay. I don't know if you could see it. You Actually, could just you know barely what? see it this in high definition. No, I could, I could see tiny dots I mean it. telling you We're where to go. Yeah, but there's also sure. pink icons on your hood and stuff. You yeah. Screw the mini-map. I do find it funny that for all the sort of side the activities based around Smash, you're still crashing through the same pink signs from that first retarded mission. Yeah. So remind me of the story point where these drugs came up on, from the other perspective. What other perspective? 
You said at least we know who the drugs are for now. I was making a reference to L.A. Noir. Oh, that's funny. I get it now. You still didn't catch that after Courtney? I think that's most of I was just very confused, that's all. Good enough. Got it. This don't look good! This is really silly. Kind of fun, though. Yeah, I mean, it makes more sense as a reason why you're smashing through them than the other one, but makes vastly less sense of why they're lying around to be smashed Death through. <laughs> I know. The guy was dropping off all of his uh, shipments to various customers throughout the city of San Francisco. Um, I think I did that mission in San Andreas. Up yet. <laughs> hey, that's the deal. Steady run. Are we gonna finish this? Please let them be the dropping stuff the off their truck as they go. <laughs> That's the only way this works. I'm gonna show these guys how real police work gets done. <laughs> that makes no sense! None. This is real police work. Yeah. Man. Ooh, that, that did some damage. Ha! <laughs> the guy rear ended. I love it. Oof. Mm. No, no, truck, truck. Oh, this guy's a truck too. I guess. Every citizen is just a vigilante waiting to happen. <laughs> trucks in this now that was a good line. A lot of, not a lot of options here. I guess you're gonna have to go with a bunch of small cars. Fair enough. Come on, jump him! <laughs> Force him to jump! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that should have done way more damage. <laughs> did you knock him on his side or? No, I did nothing. Aww. It was just silly, and he did. <laughs> that was I kind did of no awesome. There, yeah. <laughs> I remember playing Crackdown multiplayer and we got two ramp trucks and backed them yeah. into each other and it totally glitched out the game like the game did not know what to do so it just shot both ramp trucks like lightning high into the air. I Very actually referenced that in the uh, opening up, post of the thread you as the an example of the kind of mechanics okay. not to spoil for us when mm. you're at griping about a driving game with a spoiler policy. <laughs> so, I don't actually know this section of the Bay Area very well. Is it really that industrial up here, just north of the city? I doubt it. I mean, Marin is where all the rich people live, so... Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, it might be condensing two different parts, because... I don't know. I've still got it, no matter who I am. Yeah, like the other side of the bridge in the, uh, what is that, Richmond area? I could see that being a bit more warehouse. -y. Yeah. But this part, this is like Tiburon, Sausalito. This is, this is rich people territory. Mm hmm They don't have, uh, not that this is actually surprising, but they don't have the uh, Children's Discovery Museum. <laughs> That's one of my favorite landmarks in that region. Charlie, you win this race? I don't know if I've ever been there. It's a cute oh, little nice. thing in a cove, sort of. Go on, Charlie. Step on it. Jenna, I really like you, you know? And I was hoping you liked me for more than my car and stuff. Charlie, you win this race, and I'm yours. Oh, God. If you're listening, I've never asked for anything before. So this makes explicit the subtext in a lot of other racing games thin yeah, attempts Charlie, at plot. Keep your eyes on the prize. <laughs> If you're good at racing, beautiful women will Well, because they always videos. have a hot girl, you know, setting up the races or helping you along or, you know, something like that. Yeah. It's always implied you're doing this, you win, and you get to be with the hot girl. This is a sweet car to be driving in this yes. race, too. I think that's what this game has been missing so far in the races, is just the, the true luxury cars, you know? Uh-huh. Appropriate that we unlock them in Marin. 
<laughs> Are her explanations gonna get more and more um, explicit as this race goes on? I don't know. I haven't uh, been paying attention. Has she said anything yet? Uh, no, just a series of moans. <laughs> what the hell? That was awesome. We got a way to go. Yes. Yes, this this is one of the classic cars that can actually corner. Yeah. Whoa! It's one of these! It's an ambush! We saw one of these before, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, in one of the free roam activities. That was oh, a that's very, cool. very need for speed moment right there. Yep, totally. Yeah, this car is way more fun to drive than most of the cars we've been driving. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right about the handling. Oh, also, I love they... that the police are all in sports cars and luxury cars. Uh huh. Do those it's just like the real exist police. in the real world or were they invented purely for the sake of racing video games? Police? No, police are a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> you should be thankful that you haven't encountered them in this fashion. <laughs> what were you actually referring to? The crazy soup up, like street racing police cars that they got. Oh, yeah. Well, European police all drive BMWs, but I think it's a point of pride that American police drive American cars. Yes, but so Ford nice. makes, you know, some nice high-end racing cars. Which the police do not drive. Because, <laughs> like, this and other racing games will have the police in, like, these ridiculous Corvettes. Oh, yeah, for sure. That just makes it more fun. Sure, I'm I think that is a whether racing any game. police force anywhere on actual out. Earth <laughs> has, you know, a special <laughs> fleet of cars for dealing with street racing. That would be pretty so awesome if they did. It really would. I would actually love to be a part of that police force. That would be awesome. Yeah. If you're like, you're not, your job is not street racing, but street racing is an important part of your job. That would be so cool. Of course, that would require illegal street racing to be an actual thing. A, a, and at the caliber. And something on your resume before you can apply for the yeah. job. Damn, yeah, I want a car that can corner like that. Can't wait till this becomes unlocked to buy for yourself. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to jump through a lot of hoops. Although, since you've been playing along with the side missions as you go, you probably have access to a lot of these. Yeah, but this, um, that manufacturer isn't even on the, um, hey, first place and no handcuffs. on the garage oh, list yet. Yeah. Give me five seconds to savor the win, and then kiss me like you've never kissed anyone before. Aww. That's sweet. That's like the exact opposite of, wait a minute, then punch me in the face as hard as you can. <laughs> Still one of my favorite lines of dialogue from this Oh, game. are we not doing Tanner mission? I don't know. Ah. Who knows? The no, only quibble I have with shift level four is it takes a lot longer to go between it and three. Yeah, it really does. I mean, we're talking seconds here, but still. Well, yeah, First but everything else is basically instantaneous. Yep. So what's with the cyanide gas? You think Jericho's on a terrorist payroll? Is that his style? I mean, whatever he's up to, he's in it for the money first. None of the punks you brain jacked knew anything? It doesn't work like that. I can't read a guy's mind. But I can talk to the guy he's next to. I think I got his Brilliant. Away. I'll use words. <laughs> Conversation. Ordell Williams is driving for Jericho's crew. I'm gonna drop in on him. Ordell's a thief, but he's not a snitch. Well, he won't know anything about it. I'm just gonna borrow him for a while. Deep, deep cover work, huh? Yeah, that's the idea. That's clever. He's not close enough to Jericho to blow my cover. I might be able to figure out what they're doing. The problem's gonna be getting Jericho's people to trust Ordell. Once he's driving like I do, they're gonna love him. Because Jericho, in this 
universe doesn't know that I can shift into anybody. So someone who suddenly becomes able to drive really well, that's probably a great asset to my organization. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice car. What do you want, Tordell? Why are you wasting me on kid stuff, sweetheart? I'm the best damn wheel man in this city. Ha! We'll see. Can you use a GPS? If I have to. Prove yourself. Complete this route and don't hang around. You're up against the clock. What are these sound effects I'm hearing? Someone crashing into dumpsters behind you? That's silly. Ordell, call me sweetheart of gas and I'll scream you up by the ball. Well, I was not I'll bear that in expecting mind, to run Just into a Layla me. right here. That was yeah. unexpected. So I realized the checkpoint of, route to prove myself. It looks like. So the discussion in the thread in the events of the you last chapter cleared something up for me about the what happens versus what doesn't happen. In the dream world, Tanner actually does foil all of the high CCs, but it doesn't matter because Jericho is always one step ahead of him, so he just gets what he was after anyway, regardless. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But in the real world, in the real world, he's actually getting away with it. And here's like, well, I stole that ammonia, but he just found some other ammonia somewhere else. Doesn't matter. Like, they acknowledge, you know, that he made the gas in the same conversation that they acknowledge that the ammonia got blown up, so. You're wasting right. time, Ordell. Tight corners here. I guess they want you to drift. Yeah, this is a tricky Time's one. Time's almost up. Yeah, I know, I know. This is a tricky one. I will be tested. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, no, you can't. There's still one more. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. Give me another shot. I don't do second chances. You're done. Her voice actor actress is good. Hmm? I like these technical checkpoint races in most racing games. I think I actually like it here, too, because it, it challenges me, you know? Yeah, and it's also quick enough that you can, it's you not too frustrating when you lose it. Yeah. Like when you lose a race, that's a 15 minute investment and you gotta go back and do it again. These are pretty quick. I like them though. Yeah. I feel like I'm a better driver after I finish them. Mm -hmm. And this, is, this isn't this is nearly as obnoxious as the Chinatown one where you're literally Rest, required yeah. to yeah. drift constantly because it's measuring how much you drift. God, that one was so hard. It took me about an hour. Have you been there yet? I'm not trying. It, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't care enough. I don't know if beating it unlocks other races or challenges and stuff, but I just I hate the mechanic and the, the feel of purposeful drifting so much that I'm not even You're not gonna spending time Do I look worried? pulling my way through it. Oh, damn it. Oh, come on. Miss, yeah. Amateur. <laughs> I got very <laughs> familiar with the restart button. Uh, that was so just one of amateur. the races I was actually having a good run there. One of the races that someone would like to see you do unedited, so just leave all the failures in the video, is the freeway face-off, the one where you're doing the lap of the freeways. Oh, that sounds fun. Have you not? Have you not tried that one? Uh, no, I've only been attempting them when I've been recording them, so I haven't done my next round of challenges yet. So oh. they're all unattempted. Okay. Um, so th you've probably done far more challenges than me. I mean, you've seen on. all the Just challenges much. plus that Chinatown one. That was the last one I did, but I didn't leave it in the video. Got it. Um, yeah, the freeway one is pretty fun. Uh, in addition to beating the other car, you got to do the whole thing in six and a half minutes. Um, and they give you just an amazing card. I, it may be the same one as in that last race. The Lamborghini. It, 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 I don't know exactly. That wasn't a Lamborghini. Oh. Some oh. other... Oh, oh, come on. Fuck you. I appreciate that the random traffic is an important part, but it definitely can get really frustrating down. at times. Hey, don't sweat it. I'm saving the best for last. If I don't spin out on this corner up here, I'll, I'll win. Um, yeah, yeah the, I'm excited to try some more of the challenges. They've, they've been really fun. The car they give you for the freeway race handles beautifully. Come on, uh, give me another shot. I don't do second chances. That was rough. Done. Yep. If I could even just coast for like, you know, five feet. Well, if you so. hadn't missed that one turn and then gotten obstructed by traffic, it would be a good time. 
Actually, I like the time limit they've given here. It allows for minor but not catastrophic mistakes. Yep. I mean, this is the thing I love about realistic racing games, like Gran Turismo or whatever, is like those types of games track your cornering, and they'll give you progress reports on each leg and each corner and each route yeah. of the race. Yeah. And that's what this feels like to me. It's like, you know, this is my fourth or fifth attempt at it, and I'm getting way better at every corner of the route. It's like you have to devote some time to mastering the course, not just your driving abilities, but right. the course specifically. So that could be frustrating if you're not in the mood for it, but if you are in the mood for it, it's really rewarding when you successfully master a route. Part of the reason I decided I'm not going to bother with the Chinatown you're not run, embarrass yourself, um, are you? is I looked up I what a successful run looks like just on YouTube, and the guy is basically drifting constantly to build up his score even when he's not going around corners. Like, yeah. he's deliberately fishtailing from street to street. Time's That's back. the only way to do it. Yeah, yep. I know, I and know. like, that doesn't look fun to play. With so much time, time to spare. To spare, yeah. Not bad, Ordell. Not great, but not bad. So when do I see some real action? Relax. You'll get the call soon enough. I just bumped up Ordell's Why cred with Jericho's with crew. I think we got us a ball game. Maybe they're dating. Hmm. This is how rumors get started. Yeah, but then he then she wouldn't object to him calling her sweetheart. That's true. Um so we passed the test. By the way, the um, Bay Area Baja okay. race. We've got forward. Ordell moving up in the world, and Layla's still in town, which means that whatever Jericho's got cooking, he still needs his eyes on the city. But now I'm getting eyes on him. So the the dirt race from the last chapter, mm -hmm. the one with June and yeah, Daniel, yeah. Uh, that took me about six or seven tries. Um, and in fact, I ended up beating it not by destroying the other cars, though I did run a bus into them at one of the first crossings, and it just glitched them out so that the back two cars were not disabled but just didn't move. Oh, cool! Yeah, so that was great. I liked it. <laughs> Christ, Sam, you never handle any of the arachnids while I'm not there. What were you thinking? I didn't know it could jump so far. I feel cold, real cold. S and hot. Wow. You gotta see these colors. <laughs> Congolese dream widow? A single bite means psychedelic brain work, <laughs> then coma. Oh, That's the medical term. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not even trying. They're just gleefully having fun with the inanity. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Psychedelic brain warp. <laughs> the only cure is a shot of adrenaline, <laughs> which we can only get from a hospital. Yep. Also, what was it, Congolese Dream Widow? I think you got a very yep. funny haircut. <laughs> so warm and fuzzy. So I've got to drift and jump to keep his heart rate up, coming. and also I have to make it to the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. No, stay awake. It's a hungry grizzly. It's gonna eat you. I think you may have might have been supposed to drift in that very first mission. Now that I think sword. about it, we were that we thought we had to drive safe to get Tanner to the hospital. Right. <laughs> Maybe. I think that's why it got came so close both times. That's funny. Um, sorry, my wife, the medical student, is sitting next to me, listening to me say psychedelic brain warp and making faces at me. Because it's totally a real thing. Uh huh. And she can't believe that you doubt Spire the medical validity. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Small as mean, with a mean streak a mile wide. Keep talking, pal. Keep talking. Just lap down. Right at my face. They're having so much fun with this. That hurt, Joni. That means you're still alive. I'm trying to get some sleep here, <laughs> Mrs. Balloonhead. <laughs> <laughs> it's way easier to get the uh, fear up when you have oncoming traffic. Yeah. The drifting stuff is challenging. Though, deliberate fishtailing can work quite well. Uh, that's how I've passed all the 
I can see gain light. this much willpower in this is amount of time theirs oh, is oh, the, the, the deliberate you know, drift. The one way drift, the other yeah. way just back and forth, oh, okay. constant drifting. Mm. Uh, means you away. constantly Wait, accumulate hold on. willpower. Or is it walk towards the light? But tell you what, just stay where you are and enjoy the light. <laughs> don't move towards it, don't move away from it. <laughs> Sound medical advice there, Tanner. <laughs> Uh. Sam, Sam, stay away. Don't make me slap you. Just try it, Mrs. Balloonhead. I'm not afraid to pop you. Just see if I'm not. <laughs> Are we at the park yet? No, Sam, it's the hospital we're going to. The hospital. Heart rate critical. Drift, man, drift. Oh, right, just going fast can be enough. Yeah. Now the question is, if he's delusional and can't see what's right in front of him, how are all these near misses affecting him? He doesn't know what he's nearly missing. I guess the whoosh sound. Sunflower, you? I don't know. You sleep, you die, Sam. Sam. Why are we taking this bizarre route? I know these checkpoints are totally unhelpful. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You got this. What's the fail point? Is it 40? 40, I think, yeah. Man, I've been flirting with that. Yep. All right. You made it, Sam. You're going to be all right. Hooray! <laughs> Ricky Polly Squirrel. <laughs> that was a very silly mission. Aren't they all? Marine doesn't look as green as I expected it to. Aren't there supposed to be lots of forests and stuff around here? Yeah, Muir Woods is not far from here. And the Marine, he the Marine Headlands. Mm -hmm. Okay, you crazed son of a bitch. We're on the interstate just where you said to be. We've done everything you asked. Now tell us where this damn truck bomb is. You undercover cops it's this guy. so goddamn smart. We'll take a look up ahead. Two trucks. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Two? Son of a... Is this the same psychopath? It's absolutely the same. It, with the same MO, I love that he's literally just doubled down. Two truck bombs? Two! That goddamn maniac's a goddamn maniac. Don't worry, we're in the right car to do <laughs> The writing team is wonderful. You sound like you've done this before. Sort of, so hold on. Oh. <laughs> Is this going to be one of those defuse the bombs from underneath? Yep. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to glide us underneath each trailer and defuse the bombs. You're going to do what? Just go oh, with this it. Time they're moving, so you have to actually, yeah, I see them. Uh... Okay, here goes. Watch it, watch it. Oh, God, I see it. Keep her steady. We did it. We did it. Hey, don't get ahead of yourself. We've still got one more to go. This is still suicide. Oh, no. Only if we die. This is impossible. <laughs> That's no, the worst not. response. I'm gonna try again. Uh, this is gonna be a challenge. This ain't helping any. At least uh, there's no instability meter that you uh. No. Now what? Man, two years as undercover cops, and we never pulled off anything like that. Isn't false hope a bitch? I've got ten more just like across the city. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh man, we're screwed. This guy's no, plan is just put bombs on all the trucks. Go get the trucks and shift. Shift, Matt. Shift. Thank you. I'm gonna have to get up high and shift real quick to catch all these bombs before they detonate. Oh, Thankfully, I know exactly where they all are. Yep. And at least all the trucks are in pairs. This is now much more interesting. If I'm gonna stop all those bombs from detonating, I'm gonna have to shift up high and move fast. This is much better than the other car because... Because of science. I mean, theoretically, you just have to get yourself positioned so that now, the back wheels the one? carry you along. No, that's what spun me out last time. Huh. I mean, maybe if you're at the exact right angle, that is true. 
Uh. Yeah, screw those three. Who cares about them? <laughs> this doesn't seem like it's going to be that challenging. No. Well, not all of them are. Like, the last one, honestly, wasn't that challenging either. Nearly there. Is he in my lane? Is that what's going on? Yep. <laughs> Found him. Yeah, you can look behind you. See, I think you should make sure to leave each car while you're still under the truck so that the driver <laughs> just doesn't know what the hell. Do it with a bus. Yes. Oh, oh you I, have to move the buses. You have to move the bus. You're so clever, game. Why did uh, I take my head off trying to drive under a rig in this Yeah, thing? no. God, no way this is going to fit under one of those big rigs. And I assume you can't drive the truck? What am I what doing? Do do? Oh, this is embarrassing. Get in the car. Drive the car under the truck. There we go. Well, that's one way to do it. Alright, good work. You have another shift level. Oh, but it takes so long to get in and out of it. This is much better, yes. <laughs> They're not nearly as spread out as I thought they were going to be, though. Well, the timer ticks a lot slower when you're in shift anyways. So. What does it matter? I'm very particular about my vehicle. I can't be seen slumming it in just any old uh -huh. car. I do like that for Mustang, instead of telling you the name, they just have the Mustang logo. Like the horse. Oh. That's cool. It's an interesting um, mission in general. Right there. Well, I, I'm worried that the taxi with the little taxi light will be too high. You need to step it up, John. Well, if you zoom in closer, it puts little exclamation points above the cars that will work. Yeah, that's true. Again, this is a fairly good time limit. It's now getting close enough to the wire to be exciting. Mm -hmm. Without actually being threatening. He doesn't have any more lines of dialogue about driving under trucks. No. Oh, sorry. Just remembered. I need to drive under a truck. And what's he done yep. to this one? Come on. Oh, it's just out in the middle of a yard. Yeah, there's no no cars I can grab. Oh, look at the road out. Divided highway. Oh, it's not right there. We Never need to mind. pick it up a bit. Don't change the subject, Jack. You heard me. Twenty bucks says you can't freak me out. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Who is honking? You're so Hurry, I'm pretty sure that's you. Oh, it's really easy to accidentally have any more bad honk days when you're trying to city. turn. That's true, but that was a surprisingly obnoxious horn for such a tiny car. Previously on Driver San Francisco. I wonder if their licensing includes horn oh, noises. Coming up. Mm, probably does. I'd imagine, yeah. I was reading oh, about, uh, between the last episode and this one, I was reading about the earlier installments in the Driver series, just on Wikipedia and stuff. Uh, sound pretty awful. Deep, deep oh, really? <laughs> Apparently, for everything so between the first one and this one, you could Relax. get out of your car and walk around and shoot people, which makes sense for a game series titled Driver. Huh, interesting. Apparently in the Wii version of Driver San Francisco, A, you can't go across either the Bay or Golden Gate Bridges. B, you... What is the thing you can't do? I don't I know that they took out something and it's put in its place that you can use guns in your car and upgrade them. Weird. Yeah. 
Tanner, it sounds like a totally like different game, something. basically. Tanner. Yeah, it really does. Forget it. Collect your thoughts. That's your goal for this mission. That's sadly not uncommon for Wii ports because the hardware is so different. Mm -hmm. It's really like building a totally Tanner. separate game. Yep. Hello. <laughs> Something just doesn't make sense. Oh yeah. Well, just add it to my list of crap that don't make sense when I'm with you. Hey, just a minute. Jericho's a grade A gangster, right? Point being, he's not a mass murderer. Ah, bull! He blew up a daycare just to pick a dollar out of the rubble. That's not what I'm saying. Revenge costs money. It doesn't bring it in. Now, why are you overthinking this? It just doesn't add up. So explain it to me then. Look, I can't. Now, come on, I'm all ears. Look, it's not what? that. What? I'm that, sorry, that, I'm that. still not hearing your genius explanation, hey, John. don't be an asshole. Oh, I'm the asshole. That, that's real oh, nice. God damn it, Joe. What? Look, if it was just if that. If it was just that what? If it was just that, that. If it was just that simple. Oh, yeah, I'd love to hear yeah, this. Yeah, if it was I'd just that simple. You're like blowing out air, John. You're blowing hot air like a big old. Like that. Jones? God damn. <laughs> Fascinating. What the hell? Oh, man. Jones, the city, all frozen. Oh, man, I've lost it. I've totally lost it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yep, I was they've kicked not, it up a notch. Not expecting that. My God, that was that was so elegantly revealed. Like that was not where yeah. I was expecting that conversation to go at all. What the? That ambulance? It's the only thing that's moving. Feels so heavy. So damn tired. I've got to find some way out of this this nightmare. Yeah, this really uh, really was an underrated game. There's a lot of cool stuff going yeah. on here. Just stick to the back of this ambulance. See where it takes me. Oh, and now they bring up the light trails as a mechanic. Where have we seen light trails before? They, they've been there the whole the whole game. Actually, in the very opening, I was mentioning how ridiculous it was. That the headlights, or sorry, the tail lights left Whoa. trails, Following even in broad daylight. These trails, it's yeah. like a rush of blood. Oh man, it's starting to drag. Whew. This is more like it. This is very challenging. I yeah, it looks it. The at least there's a guy <laughs> driving the ambulance appears to be drunk. <laughs> I mean, seriously, look at that weaving. It's like I'm playing or something. It's hard God, to, keep up with to upgrade your ability bar, man. It's, I don't know that that would help. The boost isn't. Boost is not the problem here. It's it's cornering and finesse. Mm -hmm. But have, being able to boost for longer after a corner. Jesus, what is that ambulance doing? Whoa. Yeah, he just glitched a little bit there. I don't know that that was a glitch. Oh, you think he's supposed to be able to teleport? Yeah. So is the goal to stay in its trails long enough to lower your heart rate to some arbitrary point? Yep. So stop freaking out. So you sort of want to be right towards the end of the trails. So you have the maximum reaction time. Yeah, I suppose so. Aww. Uh, when it's taking a route, I should just be able to memorize this route. Yeah. It looked like it said 155. Is the goal? Yeah. Come on, fella, you can do it. You know, I thought it does that make the city feel eerie. It does, and I'm impressed because uh, the game several times now has succeeded in being creepy and in totally different ways each time. Yeah. Like first there were the billboards and the crows, and then the storm and the lightning bolts, and now this.
at least your heart rate doesn't go up very fast once you Oh god, it. this would be impossible if that were the case. Yeah, it definitely teleports when you touch it. Or get in front of it. Yeah. Actually, it looks like your heart rate doesn't go back up at all. So you just have to spend a total amount of time in its trail. Yep, 155. Oh god! What, what was that? What's happening to me? Damn it, Ricky! This guy's losing a lot of blood. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, this changes. It's like right, I can't I even crash the game exactly. This is the most creative driving game I've ever seen. Oh yeah, I'm back on my game. Yeah, it's very surprising. Oh, am I actually getting yeah, minus BPM for trail. crashing into the car? No, it's just the trail. Yep. Yeah, it definitely teleports away when you get too close slash in front. Yep. Okay, this mission seems a lot more fair now that I realize your heart rate can't go back up. Yeah, it's like if you're good, then you'll complete it in a reasonable amount of time. If you're not, you're not penalized beyond just having to play it for longer. I am dying to see where <laughs> like they take uh, try that. what rationalization or explanation Tanner comes up with for this. Like, at some point, he's got to realize... That he's in a coma? Yeah. Uh, like, narratively, that has to happen at some point during the game. I'm not losing it. I can't be this. There's got to be some explanation for all this. Nightmare escaped. Huh. You blowing hot air like a big old asshole. It's called the brain fart. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> Just some more strange crap for you to put on that list of yours, Jones. All right. You lost me there, man. In the time between my snapping my fingers and you hearing it, I was somewhere else. I was on some goddamn death race. In some nightmare remix of San Francisco. Yeah. Okay, John. I'm serious. Damn, John, you're either screwing with me or scaring me. I don't know which. I'm serious. Hey, listen, man. Everything's gonna be okay. We'll pull you through this, whatever it is. Yeah, thanks for the support. No, I mean it. You're gonna pull through. I know you can hear me, and everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> what? Let's get moving. God damn! What's going on there? That, that was just that was just brilliant. That was really, like, that was way better direction than I would expect from a video game. Period. Like, that was a bit of diegetic play that would not be out of place in an actual movie. The storytelling device that they just used there? Not even the device, just the little bit at the end with Joan's real world coming through on the radio at the same time as, you know, Tanner's Dream Jones saying that, oh, man! That was so here's the thing. I don't give a rat's ass about the plot with Jericho, but the plot with Tanner coming to terms with his dream coma and all of that, absolutely fascinating. And I am really involved and want to know what happens. Because they are handling the mechanics of it. So they're telling the story through the game mechanics better than I think I've ever seen it done. Yeah, that's an excellent point. And honestly, I think even if they had, you know, if they had put together an excellent crime story that was sort of overlaid on top of this, mm -hmm. I think that would actually hurt it because they need to be able to poke fun at the crime story mm -hmm. in order to tell the story of Tanner's coma and sort of justify all the silliness that happens when your character can do things like shift into other cars. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like the actual crime, the Jericho plot is a foil to what you just described, yeah. the main story. I mean, that's just so good. Yeah, it's really clever. 
Do you think that was their intention all along, or do you think they just started telling the story and they realized, you know, through the telling of the crime story, they're like, you know what, this Tanner thing's a lot more interesting, and we could do some really cool, unexpected stuff here. I don't know. I think that they had to have the Tanner story and its interaction with game mechanics planned out before they started building the game. But I couldn't tell you whether that came first before the Jericho stuff or not. I think both. Well, of, they had to have some of the Tanner stuff planned out, but I think they had be, the been the general outline of both stories ready to go before they started building, because yeah. both of them are too well integrated. Yep, dude. That's yeah. It's really fascinating. Not what I was expecting, which is the ability to stop time as an in-game mechanic, but uh, <laughs> that would probably be a little game breaky. Yeah. Don't tell me if it comes up later. Maybe it does. That would be sweet, too. <laughs> I might actually be able to win a race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's fun deconstructing the story here. Yeah. This is, this is really interesting. This is awesome. Good I'm stuff. looking forward to more. Cool. I'll see you in Chapter 7. Sounds good.